Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, I, Actually, you know, I do that with my kids, though. I, I do. They, they know it. They'll, they'll be what? like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. So they'll they'll be saying something. I'll pretend like I don't hear them. I'll be like, "What?" And then he'll kind of get what I'm doing. They'll say it again. I'll be like, "What?" I, I keep raising up, and then I'll be like, "Okay," and I'll just start tickling. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they look forward to it after the second one. They know what's coming. So, they'll, uh, uh, anyways. Long. Tickle time. Tickle time. We're going to talk about tickling. It's going to be awesome. That's the whole podcast. So like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm Kevin. And Chris. Uh, we're with Every Angle Inspectors out of North Texas. Yes. And uh, yeah, man, I, I do enjoy, you, I do enjoy a good tickle. Yeah. I do. I do like <laughs> no, don't. Don't. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. It's getting personal. <laughs> Jerry, you want to get in on this tickling yeah, tickle action? Tickle party. Might find out something you didn't right. want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the camera, we got the man, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Yes. Um, yeah, have you, you have never changed out of that shirt. I don't. This is all over. I, I don't wash it, actually. I don't think so. You still smell good, though. I know. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just good. It's probably like a coat of cologne. You smell like my business partner? <laughs> Uh, so I, mean, I always thought about that, like dry cleaning, right? You take it to, they don't really clean it, right? So, well, I, yeah, I've never, it's just what like is dry just, cleaning? What is that? Like, they dry, I feel like everybody who's wearing like a pressed dry suit, it's pretty dirty, right? There's I no feel like, like they ster- just hang it up and just put it there's in There's no, there's you soap. Like what is, soap is the only thing that would kill germs. What is dry, like I don't understand the concept of it. How do you dry clean something? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Here, here, let me handle that. Let me handle that. Yeah. I got you. So, um, yeah. What, what's what hey, the, what's a good dry cleaner? I don't know. What would na- the names of the dry cleaner places? Just pick one. You don't. I don't dry clean. Yeah, I've <laughs> never. To, we, that's the good part about it. inspecting houses. We don't have to wear wear suits yeah. and, and, and things like that. So. I do have some pretty sick cargo pants now. I did bring that. I brought that up in another. Uh, podcast though. Yeah. You should, you do uh, cargo, cargo pants are cargo actually. pants. I'm gonna have yeah. cargo pants, cargo uh, socks. Yeah. Give me a shirt with some uh, pockets. But what we know we need a sponsor. Okay, so it's drive. still wet. So it it still so the, uses oh, liquid. The but but it's, is it like a soapy liquid though? Because if not, it's not killing the germs. I'm sure. I, yeah. It it says it's got like a. Uh, I mean, it says uh, a solvent. Yeah, uh, I'm solvent, sure there's some kind of. Well, you, some kind look of, look up a look up a dry cleaner. Uh, just a, one of the popular ones that's going to give us the this most money. This is what money. this podcast is about. So <laughs> we're making the money, money before money. before we start talking about ladder safety. North Tarrant Clown, uh, North Tarrant Cleaners. Okay. North Tarrant Cleaners. Yeah. North Tarrant Cleaners. You know what it is? Uh-uh. Sending you a bill. <laughs> yeah. Got the Addy right here. What do you want to charge? What do you want to charge them for? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Honestly, write them an invoice and see what they pay, say. I'll just pay them. We're we'll at least gonna... get like one more view because they'll be a like, coupon? who are these people sending us invoices? And they'll go on YouTube or wherever you guys are listening from and like, like click on it and be like, ha, ha, gotcha, gotcha. Extra, got, uh, that can, extra can, can we get a coupon for fifty percent? Yeah, yeah. For the we're probably never used <laughs> because <Yeah. laughs> we don't. Drink <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, North, North Tarrant Dry Cleaners, you owe us, we said it how many times now? Three? You want to do? I mean, uh, dry cleaning is pretty cheap. Well, I'm probably going to get like five bucks every time we say yeah. it. 20 bucks? Is yeah. it? Right. I was always under the impression <laughs> that it wasn't cheap. I've never dry cleaned anything, so I don't know. Yeah. It, it, but I mean, there's like, I was always thinking deals, that's like, something that rich people did. I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's like three bucks a shirt. One time, though, I took it to like a, a place, uh, like a fancy place. I didn't even realize it was fancy. And. I came back to pick them up. They didn't really say anything about the bill. You know, usually you pay when you pick it up. And it was, I had like three shirts. It was like $60. I was like, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like 60 like, they, such a rip, dude. It's okay. Uh, I just buy new they, shirts, they, they man. Good? Come on. Pay <laughs> buy new shirts. I mean, yeah, were they, were they clean? Just like send them to whoever needs those shirts. But, mm-hmm. uh, I, I Probably not clean. So what's dry cleaning. What? Okay, what? Why would you choose dry cleaning over regular? What what does it do? Does it is it like something it just, to do with the like, shrinkage? If you put it like in like a regular it? shirt, uh, like a regular washer, it's not going to be all like pressed and like. It's, mm. All they're really doing is ironing it for. They're you, basically getting it ready for you to wear it the next time. Yeah, you know, if you wash a suit jacket and all that stuff, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like all all the realtors who are, are wearing suits are like, God, you guys are ridiculous. Yeah, you, like, don't, you don't know about. We don't want to. We don't want to work with these inspectors. They don't know <laughs> nothing about suits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, what were we talking about today? Uh, ladder safety. Yeah, ladder safety. Okay, so All yeah, right. let's get into that. Yeah, just a general like height safety and stuff because that's a real thing. Mm-hmm. 
You know, for the, the average of homeowner, you're going up every once in a while. You might not feel comfortable on going up on a roof, but you know, you're still using the ladder every once in a while. Mm -hmm. We do it all the time. So yeah. we like, you can't, you, you cannot get like lazy about it and you can't, you gotta, cause the accidents happens when you get too overconfident. Uh, actually interesting fact for you guys too. One of the number one things that inspectors get hurt on is attic stairs, like those pull down stairs. Those things are dangerous. Crazy mm. dangerous. Whenever they start getting rickety like that, like the, um, if so, you're pulled like the nicer, newer ones are generally like the metal, you're not gonna have as much mm. problem. But the older ones, anywhere from like 90s and below, they're wood, they start getting they're, all, wrinkly, they're yeah. sideways when you try to step on them. Yeah, they like, don't even have the bottom little half of it, you gotta yeah. like get the step stool to get to the roof. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a lot of the times, what happens is they don't cut them the right length in the first place, and so they're already kind of off at an angle. And that, that just gets them off on a bad start. And then over time, you go up them enough, they start getting more and more rickety. If that wood breaks, like the way inspectors get hurt and a homeowner too, if you do have an old one, um, one of those rungs just snaps or something, you know, or like it breaks a bracket. You'll see those brackets at the corners, you know, give, give them a close look, you know, looking for cracks and stuff. Uh, we do that too. First thing we do when you pull it down, because if you don't, it's got a crack there and you maybe you're a little bit heavier than the last person who's been able to go up and down it and, uh, it's just going to break and you're going to fall <laughs> down and you're not expecting that like a little bit. Mm. Uh, you, you get like scratches on your legs. You're going straight down. If you're do those short falls where your knees are kind of expanding to get your, your knees too will hurt. So if it's pretty rickety, we'll still go up and inspect your attic, even though we don't, we don't have to, or like, yeah, we're not the standards. If, if we deem yeah. something unsafe, we don't have and to if, do if, it. And if if our well, I'm in, fearless. If so our I'm company's fearless. insurance carrier is actually watching this podcast, just disregard. Don't watch. Just stop watching. Stop watching. <laughs> just don't watch any of our podcasts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, just in case. So yeah, there's uh, I mean, there's obviously ladders to get yeah. in here. So just like be be safe. Yeah. One of the things too we find a lot is okay, you wouldn't think about it, but Whenever you're going up, you you would, generally people think that screws are better than nails because they're just they seem stronger. But they're not. Yeah. So the framing, how these things are uh, secured to the top by the ceiling, right there, it, it needs to be nailed instead of screws. Lots mm -hmm. of times they just put the screws in there. It's because nails are stronger uh, for. Uh, you gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you like grabbing things about that size, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what feels most comfortable in your hand. Um, B and. Uh, wow, I already lost top again. Yeah. I'm pretty tired again. Screws, nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, strength. so yeah, sheer strength. So you're you're talking about you've got your the the cutout for the hole in the wall. It's got your two by four here, and now you've got your the edge of your your ladder. Everything's mounted up. So you're trying to make it so it's strong where those two pieces aren't going to be sliding. If you've got a screw, now it's going to be able to break off easier. So a screw is actually not good for it as versus the nails so I'm there's more, requirements I'm, I'm more of a nail guy anyways you know? yeah i always like nails better mm. you can you could do the nails if, if you use a lag which is basically a big screw if, as long as it's thick enough that's still gonna work so lots of times um you'll see the, the there'll be a little piece of paper on there that'll say it's supposed to use this and they'll mm -hmm. still get it wrong but yeah. uh anyways be safe on those for sure yeah uh i mean you know Painting ladders. Painting ladders. I was about to yeah. say, like, transport table ladders, like ladders you can take around. Uh, there's, I mean, obviously. Well, there, there, yeah, for, for there, there's a whole, like, OSHA is uh, all about, like, workplace safety, and they've mm -hmm. got all these codes, and there's uh, tons of stuff that we could talk about You can on actually ladders. learn a so lot like, just on the Yeah, like, on commercial ladder. jobs, they're not even allowed to have uh, metal ladders. Everything, everything's yeah, well, got to be wooden. Or yeah. Well, it depends fiberglass. on... You, well, you, yeah, even I mean, even wood. Can yeah, if you, you're you're talking about for the electrical, yeah, like mm. that. Yeah. Well, I think most commercial jobs, period, they, they don't have um, ladders in there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember reading that particular world. I know that there is stipulations for sure on if it's considered an electrical hazard. Uh, definitely that. That's good advice too. If you're doing like a fan and you're just like kind of a DIYer, you know, uh, wooden ladder. Yeah, <laughs> or, 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 or fiberglass. Yeah. yeah. Um, or rubber shoes and gloves. Yeah. Aluminum ladders are more for painters. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'll like tell you, the, well, they're lighter the thing, too. The, 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 the lightness around. matters a lot when you're moving mm -hmm. ladders around. For for me, when we do like an apartment inspection, 
man, those things, if you're doing like a two-story, that means you're going to have like a, at least a 24-footer and you're going to go around to all these buildings in the apartment complex and it's July and it's Texas and mm. it's rough. I've done that like by myself. Yeah. <laughs> so do y'all carry, so y'all carry ladders with y'all? Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we Are these the we, we only uh, tools you have? Or dare I say... Uh, Inspector Gadgets. Oh, uh, <laughs> that would have been a good name for the, the podcast. Uh, we can. We should do a segment. I'm gonna write it down. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. Inspector Gadget. Inspector. Oh, gotta Gadget. get that music. Dun, 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 dun. They made yeah. a new version of that. My kids like that show. Really? That's yeah. fine. It's not as good as. Um, so do y'all? I mean, are those the only tools y'all use? Or? Oh no! I mean, we we have. That's all we roll was ladder. Just a ladder. No. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we we no, have a whole no. trunk. We have a whole trunk full of tools. Yeah, we got tons. We, of we stuff. pop the trunk at. Every inspection we go to, um, pop, ladder, my is, pop, pop my trunk. Is the measuring yeah. tape necessary? Oh yeah, I mean I'm sure right. it is. Well, you gotta think there's certain well, like, where like, where might you use a measuring tape? Okay, yeah. There, well, that's a whole podcast, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, I mean there's there's lots of stuff. Like generally, like we do it so much that like we can just look at something mm-hmm. and like just know that it's off, mm-hmm. and then later usually on, like to show on a picture, like prove it kind of. Okay, thing. so I'm and sure then, like, a level is definitely one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have many levels that we use, so especially in plumbing and, and things like mm-hmm. that. Well, this is actually a good topic for like a whole nother podcast, so I want to save that for a little bit later. Let's try to stick on. Shut that. up, Jerry! <laughs> God, <laughs> you're ruining the podcast. <laughs> no, you're actually giving us like great ideas. Yeah, just keep, right. Right. Yeah. keep ruining okay. my notes. What are we just talking about? I mean, was uh, ladder safety. So there's a there's a four one rule. Way too much for ladder yeah. safety, right? Oh, this so. is so we're yeah we're moving on from uh, your typical like a A frame type ladder mm-hmm. to now we're doing a straight ladder, which is an extension yeah. ladder. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. we've got ones that fold out and. and I actually have a telescope ladder, and every single time, I, not every single time, it's not that cool. But I pull out this little telescope ladder. It's like a three foot ladder that you just click it. You keep on throwing it. Yeah, up, I think and it gets up to like the diameter feet and, yeah. of the. They got those cool ones too that they're A frames and then they're also you can flip them to be uh, yeah well they're not really extension ladders because they don't extend well, but they can yeah. they can either be like this mm-hmm. or they can and be and then they slide off that rail and you yeah can, yeah and, that's um, really yeah. neat ladders mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. that's what we we have uh, or I, I carry around a, a little giant so they yeah. call they come in I just make the tel- I just stuff. make the telescope ladder work usually and uh, like I was on an inspection today um, the two roof surfaces I had to get to I wouldn't have been able to get to it with the the 16 foot ladder that I had so I got up onto the one roof surface and because I'm fearless pulled your ladder up pulled the ladder up to the yeah. next one of yeah. course if I make sure I mean you know I was on a flat roof area I yeah was, I was we would safe. yeah not, that's I'm not, not something to do. yeah we're talking about ladder safety yeah I'm not you okay don't, guys don't, don't do that and again stop watching insurance company it's like, yeah <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, there is a four-one rule. So for every four feet of ladder, you need to have it one foot away from that wall, right? Yeah. So if you're dealing with um, like a, a one-story uh, and you've got like a twelve-foot ladder, for instance, you're going to want it to be at least three feet away at the bottom, away from the house. So you that's your angle that you want to keep it at. You want to don't go too far, too much. Also, by OSHA, you're supposed to go three feet above the roof. Um, so that way you use it and then you kind of come off around the side. Personally, I don't like that as much. I will kind of extend it like that more. If I've got somewhere to kind of, um, if it, if the ladder slides, if you're on a gutter, then it can kind of go one direction towards like a wall, somewhere where you've got a stopping point. If you're just on a straight open, if you're going on a gutter and you've got a, a metal ladder like that, it's going to want to slide. Another thing to do, if you are going up and down on, on the, uh, uh, on the, uh, you're going to be going up, you're, maybe you're making a repair or something, you're going up and down quite often, uh, just get like a little bungee cord mm-hmm. and you can attach it into like usually your gutter will have, like it'll have, it's the little, uh, the, the stakes, the gutter stakes that are going to go straight into there and you can tack on one of those mm-hmm. and it just kind of helps it from sliding well, around even a, a little even bit. Even a little bit of wind, I mean, yeah, it'll, it'll slide away from me sometimes. I mean, yeah, I was on a roof one time years ago, um, I was on the second story, and luckily my other, another one of my friends is down on the bottom. But yeah, man, that just blew right over, and I was like, <laughs> I don't like, I can't just jump mm. off this. Oh, you know, another big rule: anytime you get them on a roof, always bring your cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because something can go wrong Seriously. up there, especially if you're unfamiliar with the roof. It's your first time going up. Mm-hmm. So when. <laughs> we're, we're, no. I'm sorry. I was I, thinking about this video where this guy had got uh, he had got on the roof of the ladder, but it was like a probably like a six foot. So he had to like, you know, 
climb up there, yeah, bad. but he was trying to get back down, so he, like, <laughs> bellied himself, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and completely freaked out. He was, like, this far from the ladder, and he couldn't get down. He was so scared they had to call the fire department. And he was just, like, staying, uh. Yeah, he was, like, just leaning on. Uh, if somebody is, like, videotaping him, they're not, they should be, like, hey, man. Yeah, like, I mean, it was, it was, was like, like, no, there was. Like there, was like, there, there was, like, his cousin and his brother or whatever were trying to help him down, guide him down. They're like, you're right here, you're right here. You're good, Terry. And he's like, call the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there, there's, one, there's one time... Um, I went up, and I'll tell you guys: be careful because it's a lot easier to go up than it is to come down. Yeah, like it's it's you you kind of you've got that even that, that first momentum. even that first step getting back on the ladder is kind of intimidating. Oh, yeah. No matter no matter yeah. how comfortable you are on a ladder, that's the one that's the one part of climbing up or down a ladder that you, you ever do the thing where you, you kind of go down it like this, and then you're like trying to do the turn. You're like. Trying to, <laughs> trying to turn around. Oh, uh, no. Or you have to step no. down like this, and then you're like, yeah. oh, now, now I got to turn. Mm. No, I, I, yeah, that would be, that's kind of dangerous when you start. I actually that. just carry a little parachute with me. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just base jump. It's not going to do anything, but it makes me feel comfortable to have it. You like know, I mean, actually, I, I, a little army I've done one. some uh, <laughs> inspections on skyscrapers in Dallas, and well, I mean, you're doing it like on the rooftop, and you, you know, that'd be good to have mm. a little parachute. That'd be pretty suit. fun. I'd I'd base jump for sure. Yeah, yeah. I would I would definitely enjoy that. Doing yeah, that. I got some not ideas, while but. we're working though. I want to do yeah, that. I want to do that thing where they uh they I guess they glide when they jump. Hang like glide a wing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that looks so. Cool. That would be fun. Yeah. Super I mean, scary. That seems <laughs> like that seems like it'd be more dangerous than like just a regular like base jump. No, right. Mm, I think it know? would be because mm-hmm. you still. It seems like you're dependent way more on the wind. Like the wind could really just kind of mm. like fucking. <laughs> Tip you upside down, you're fucking yeah. dead. You well, know? I mean, it's how a plane works, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, kind of, but like a plane has a little bit more weight to, you know, yeah. I think that like a little Way bit of wind and probably, span, I don't yeah. know, I'm sure they know what they're doing, but I'm sure a lot of people die in hang gliding accidents oh. too. But I'd still, like, let's look it up. Let's try it. How many people die in hang gliding? Or what's the, ra- you have to do ratio. Yeah, so they shoot way more people like, ra- ra- like die in, uh, you know, like per, per capita. Of uh, like uh, parachute parachute wrist. Is that yeah. really, I don't know. How do you say you're? You just, mm-hmm. you, is there a word for that? I'm so bad at English. Parachutist. Is that what you call them? The guys. Like, Parachuter. You're a professional. Uh, parachute. One in two thousand. Hang so gliders. You, yeah, you have like five to ten fatalities uh, it's per year, be. and you got like fifteen thousand uh, gliders. Wow. I mean, it's not that, that's so honestly yeah. so you're way safer skydiving. Yeah, but then base jumping maybe we don't know the statistics. Mm. But that's there's so many. Uh, anyways, yeah. so we don't. Trying, yeah. This is not anything know. about ladder safety, but uh, well, be safe on your ladders, man. Yeah, yeah. Read, read the the labels and stuff that are on your ladder. Yeah, so like, just learn about it. Yeah, there's lots of requirements for ladders nowadays. That like that in OSHA, it's got to be the, the you know the rungs have to be so wide. Um, they have to, you know, be like, like where they've got trade on them essentially. So that way you don't slip off of them, mm. but you don't really have to worry about all that because any ladder that you buy is going to be designed. It's going to be up to spec mm-hmm. as far as that goes. Um, but yeah, just definitely don't be build some, your own ladder. Yeah. <laughs> just don't, just don't just go. Buy yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, the, even like almost every time too, because there's a, there's a whole nother set of rules for build your own ladders and they'll do that on, um, like uh, some type of like a larger, nicer house sometimes uh, to get around scaffolding in some areas. Uh, they'll they'll do some stuff and they're all, uh, never up to code, you know. <laughs> Is that mm-hmm. right? And sometimes in like older houses that have like different levels of attic spaces, you'll see um, like little built-in ladders so uh, that go up from like one level to the other. Just just make sure always have your hand on something. It's mm-hmm. like any rule of climbing, you know, and then. Test something out a little bit before mm. you, you get on there. Uh, I actually did a fun um, inspection. You know, we're going to, I'm going to put a, a picture in it. We I did a, a wind turbine um, out. We in, posted uh, that on our Facebook too. West so Texas. there is there is a couple pictures of okay, that on yeah. there. Yeah. I'll, I'll put a little picture. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, so I, I really didn't have a clue as to like how they looked on the inside. Um 
And and you don't think that they're that big either. Yeah, they because like, you kind of usually see them from a distance. Like, those things are huge. The, yeah, the turbines. Wind yeah, the wind, you ain't ever seen them carrying one of the wings. No, yeah, 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 they're, yeah, huge. yeah, yeah they're, they're huge. Yeah, they're Yeah, they're big. Uh, the towers are about the average, like two eighty to like three hundred feet tall, so about a football field up. Um, and how they're built is they're constru- they're built up, but you can do it all from the inside. So. They get a big cylinder to start out with, and everything's done with a crane. You put that big cylinder down, you bolt tons of bolts. I don't even know. It's probably like, I don't even know, like 300 something probably. bolts or something like all around the, the, the uh, perimeter of the circle. Then you've got, um, you, they put the other one on, and then they just keep doing that, and they, everything's bolted from the inside, go all the way up to the top. So there's just one ladder that goes from the bottom to the very top. And intermittently, there's probably like maybe four platforms, platforms on each on, as you're going up. Uh, actually, you know, I saw in the tenant, I saw in the tenant, if you guys, have, I don't know, you're paying attention, they drop him off at some uh, wind turbine and then he gets in, he's like working out, like doing uh, like pull-ups, like in the wind turbine on, on the ladder, trying to be hardcore. It's actually like super hard. Like I, 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 just wanted to prove to myself. The, the guy who works there is used to it. He does them all the time, so he's kind of fit, right? He just kind of goes up it pretty fast. And you could tell he, he even kind of slowed down. You can't really see him after a while, uh, but you can hear him still walking on. And you've got a harness. So if you fall, you, you get tired. Just pulling yourself up Yeah, no, day. it's really, yeah. yeah, it's just it's really just a ladder. And, and you get your safety harness, and you're always clipped in, so it's got like an automatic brake on it. So if you fall or, or whatnot, you, you'd be all right. Uh, anyways, I wanted to prove it to myself that I could do this. I can go all the way up, you know. Um, without without breaks. With, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, well, I was still clipped in, but I. Yeah. But I. Yeah, yeah. Without no, no, breaks. No, I'm yeah, about, like, yeah. Like, with, yeah, without stopping. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't stop on any of the platforms, and uh, I got it to about 150 feet, and I started like feeling the burn. <laughs> I mean, it was it was so that was probably one of the hardest physical things I've ever. Like done because I mean I I kept at it. It it was it was cool though. It was, uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, what kind of experience. maintenance do you really have to do up well, there? Well, there's there's actually I guess a, electrical a, a, maintenance. a lot up there. So what it basically consists of? You've got your blades and then you've got your housing and then the big box shape on it. It's called a nacelle, and those blades spin and then essentially you just have like a huge transmission that goes from uh like the the tip of the those blades is moving 200 miles an hour. On, on like a regular wind um and that's spinning around and a big transmission connected to a generator and then that just sends it down a relatively small lines like i would have expected them to be like a huge bus that goes all the way down but um relatively small um and they've got quite a bit of stuff in there there's a lot of hydraulics involved in it so you've got to do regular maintenance on it the reason that i was going up in this one is there a way to lock it that's yeah. That's what I'm getting into exactly. So they were actually this one was under construction. They were building it. How they build it is they've got a um, it's a it's, there's there's your your uh, housing goes on connected to your nacelle, and then you've got uh, these pins essentially that you would you would stick into it, and they look like a piston on a car. They're about the same size. Well, well, probably like a diesel. Like they're pretty big, and there's I forget how many. I think there's like three pins. Anyway, so you you lock that housing in place by uh, you've got this this uh, hydraulic pump that moves these pistons into place and secures it. Then you fasten and you secure your blade, and then you you then you release it, and then you have an, another motor uh, that's a very powerful hydraulic motor that moves those blades slowly, and then you lock it again to, and to you stop install it. Right? What happened on this one? Is that they they have to uh, they're manually making those pins come back in. There's like a whole procedure that the protocol they're supposed to follow, and they didn't have the those the the pins all the way out. And then they they started the other hydraulic, the powerful motor, and it t- torqued it right. And so in in that uh, in the housing, it made a little crack, like an inch, like literally just an inch. And because of that one crack. The, the manufacturer said it compromised that and they weren't going to be able to warranty it. So they had to take, they had to take apart the entire thing. They had to, and and it, they can't just bring the part. Well, they have to disassemble, the, take off the wings first and go through all the processes. And then they had to lower the nacelle, like get the whole crane out. And all that's cost 
a million, like 1.6, I think it was. I think they might have gone down a little bit more, but 1.6 million for a one inch crack and one guy's mistake. <laughs> we'll get one guy. Who I bet like, he was fired. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> I wonder if you could feel it, like, because I know a lot of things oh, are yeah, that you can. high. Can you feel it, like, shaking? Well, yeah, yeah. Be, because, well, it wasn't too windy whenever we were there, but they did still, like, engage a pin. So it's, it's like, still moving a little bit whenever they put the complete brakes on it. And then they put that locking pin in there. And even that, like, a little jolt, uh, you don't really – you wouldn't notice, like, looking at it from down there, you know, like, if you're on the ground level. Uh, but – I mean, you felt that we probably moved like two feet either direction. And he was telling me stories about how they've done it whenever it's more windy and stuff. And like, it's jolted them like, like six, seven feet. And it's scary, right? Yeah. Uh. Uh, the guy that I went up how there. Did, how do they get things up and down? Do they just carry it? A huge crane. Oh, no, they've got, they've got a, a winch, just, essentially. That okay, so a, they can bring it's stuff electronic. up and down. Yeah, okay, so that's cool. they'll usually, uh, because it's not safe to... Go up the ladder. You've got hard hats and all that right, stuff exactly. on That's because you drop tools. Uh, so once you get up there, then you just have a team and you bring up your bag. From, <laughs> drop a wrench from two hundred feet. Yeah. And your homeboy's walking. <laughs> yeah, I mean you, you're, you're not <laughs> going to have. Right? Yeah, you're not allowed. Like you have, uh, we had. You, I had to go through like training just to be able to go up there. So they make you secure anything if you want to bring anything at all. Doesn't matter if it's in your pockets or whatever. It's got to be completely sealed in. Uh, or you've got like your, your cell phone, they've got like the little pouches for them that's like connected to you so that nothing can fall out. And, yeah, you know, little fanny yeah, packs. Maybe yeah, hit, hit somebody. Uh, I also did the, the drone on it too. It was pretty cool. There was one real close to it that I was going up to and kind of filming it. I was just having fun. And uh, I was so tempted to try to make it through those blades, you know, like just go, <laughs> go for it. Uh, that would be an awesome video, right? To just be like, mm, like yeah. right there. But Cinematic. I just, I, I don't want to risk Knocks it, the so. drone all the way out of it. <laughs> if you would have hit been, it, it would have flew. <laughs> oh, yeah. It probably would have been like gone more viral or, or what. <laughs> yeah, even if you would have hit it, it would have looked cool. Because yeah, yeah. it would have like knocked it yeah. all the way across. Yeah, yeah. if like the camera yeah. like survived, was just like... Yeah, you was like, like sky ground, sky ground, sky ground. Um, oh, it's scary to think. Yeah, about. it was. It, it was pretty. <laughs> the, the the guy I got, I, he was real friendly, and you can actually get up on the top of those. So it's a little hatch, like you would see a little submarine hatch, and uh, you you get up on it, and they still got these little clips, like you would like a, uh, if you're doing uh, a roof. Sometimes they'll have like safety clips that you can you can clip into, and. Uh, we did that, and then I got, I did, he, you, like, kind of hang off the side like this. Yeah, that's one of the, the pictures of, and so you're, like, looking down the ground. It's, if the adrenaline starts, like, coming in, it feels good. <laughs> they, got, they had that tower that's in, um, uh, I want to say, South America somewhere, like, in, in the Amazon. There's, like, a tower, oh, I guess, yeah, where they, yeah, yeah. It's I don't like remember exactly what they, the what they do there. It's, like, a... Yeah, I think it's, it's to measure the weather or something I think like that, that. Yeah, but it's, it's huge. It's like way up there. Have yeah, you seen so. that thing? Mm -mm. It's like it's like the forest, and then a huge tower. Just yeah, it's one tower out coming the all the way out of the forest. It's like huge, and it's, it's above the it's clouds. Stairs. Yeah, too. yeah, they go up. There. That'd be a lot of right. stairs. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it is like a, a, a square staircase yeah. all the way up. Yeah, with you got yeah. landing and stuff there too. Yeah, that's great. Um, but yeah, use use caution on for for us personally. We do quite a bit of roofs, so if you hear roofers, you hear the the term like if they'll say like six twelve or like a four twelve or mm -hmm. like a twelve twelve. All that really they're talking about is the slope. So for every if it's a six twelve for every uh, six inches, it goes up six inches and then it goes horizontal twelve inches. Mm -hmm. So. You, if you were to just draw it out, that's what it would be like. Okay. If it's like a 12-12, that would be essentially a 45-degree angle. So that's going to be on your nicer houses. Mm. Um, that's where it gets a little bit, uh, a little sketchy to walk on. Yeah, no, if it's if it's something, like a lot of times what they do in these new houses too, they'll do, like the front side will be like, 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 like twelve twelves or something, mm -hmm. and then like towards the back, it's a little bit. It's it's more like they just like the look of. I, the, yeah, I've seen them yeah. dudes up there with nothing holding them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, those guys, those guys. Man. They have they have old couch cushions. They have, yeah, they have like a couch that. cushion yeah. like like a billy goat like mm -hmm. on the side of a mountain, just like. Yeah. Nope. I don't even know. I mean. Well, yeah, that's that's good. actually how we find a lot of like mechanical damage that's left up there is because people are just hanging up there doing it really quick, you know, and they leave their footprints on there because like they got to keep themselves up, you know. 
Yeah, um, well, yeah, especially in the summer. Yeah. If, if they if they got to keep going, they keep going back up there to do repair, like yeah. you know, do, it's real, do it's real hot. I guess the weight of them pushing the shingle probably breaks mm-hmm. the the nails that hold them. Not break the nails, but break the uh, the shingle part where the nails are at. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, you'll see a lot of like granule loss and like scratches and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it's not mostly like big, yeah, that's not something you're like, oh, you need to re- replace that right now. Because yeah. when it's a little hot like that, you'll get the the it's basically just asphalt that's mm-hmm. got granular cover on it so it's it will kind of, it, it'll move a little bit with your feet um but yeah yeah it's definitely uh i mean so for for us they have what, what's your what's your safe your well, safe i was slope? gonna say i was gonna say there's a there's a, a shoe you can get it's called or boots they're called cooper paws and they have this like it's like a it's almost it's like it's like a rubbery like almost like an insulation like material like what you It's would, a real sticky sole yeah. essentially. And, yeah, I mean you feel you you feel good walking on roofs with those. Yeah, and like, you, you just really you keep the shoe and you just replace the 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 sole yeah, it's like part Velcro if you need it. It's a velcro like yeah. bottom. Yeah, so those um, are those are really helpful um for safety, but there's there's like there's tie-offs and stuff like that that roofers um should ideally use to to protect themselves and um yeah. but yeah, I mean, we've got drones if it's too steep. So yeah. for, for me, my, my personal no-go is uh, a 912. I did that one time. Um, a 912, just, I, I'm talking about, if, if lots of times, though, it can be like a 912 or a 10, a 1012. If you've got, like, a good valley to walk up, you can still kind of get around. Mm. That's a key for us. We just see, if there's, like, a Don't good path. Don't walk on the valley. Keep yeah, if you're walking, like, a, just a straight thing, and mm. you're, you've got no, nothing to kind of grab onto and it's just you and the roof uh a 912 is my personal limit i've done it like one time i went up and i thought it was going to be a little bit easier to get down and i started sliding and <laughs> i and i just started panicking and it was it was hot and um i i sit up on i went i went we're back I cannot, up to the, i cannot picture you panicking like about anything i feel like you're i so mean relaxed you, all the you time. probably couldn't see it on my face but my body when you start getting that if that 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 scared yeah. you start getting scared of the height then your body that concerns, really does react that really concerns and, and yeah and it's kind of makes State it worse mind. yeah you 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 watch somebody on a ladder okay if if the, when they go up the ladder if the thing if the ladder makes a little bit more like a like a start swaying a little bit like that that's people's body is actually shaking because i get like that if i do like a three-story and you have like a ladder assist that's that's a good that you're getting, no, it's like a gut and feeling you, you get. I mean, so you're kind of getting this like isn't a, a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> and so that little bit of tension, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, so I, I went. Roots are always steeper than you think they are. For oh some yeah, reason. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, so I, I hung out up on that ri- that that ridge for a bit, <laughs> thinking, I wonder how much the fire department's going to charge me to come get me down. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> what what is it worth it? What kind of landing am I going to make? Going over my head. Like how to fall. Oh, we can talk mm. about that in a second. Let me and this is it. also somebody's house too, so you don't want to like scrape your way down and leave. Yeah, and yeah, you don't. Yeah, you, like, I mean, yeah. If it was like an emergency, yeah, I mean, you could, but yeah, you definitely want to want to do, do, do that. What I ended up doing was there's a um, like a, a, a hip ridge, so like it's still the down part angle, but it's like a ridge, so you. have got kind of something to hold on to and i i had uh like shorts on they're real thin i had a thin shirt on because it's real hot outside and you're up on a roof and i just had to like it's like slide down this roof oh, like, so, just, so you I was, was like, doing cradling. the thing where you're sliding down and your shorts are going yeah like I, I was cradling this thing <laughs> i was sweating bullets and and you guys don't know if it's the middle of summer like that those shingles get so hot, hot. Yes, and it's do. burning my burning here but i'm trying to keep it to keep it together because I need all the friction that I can to like like stay because I was starting to slide I was I was I was stressed yeah. but I got down so from now on I don't do a nine twelve roof we've got <laughs> we've got we've got these um, uh, we've got apps on our phone you can you can do it too actually uh, just download like a pitch gauge or a pitch app whatever you want pitch gauge is the one that I use personally and you just lay your phone up on it and it'll tell you exactly what it is like a nine twelve or whatever um, if you're not the kind of person who feels comfortable on roofs I wouldn't recommend um, going mm-hmm. on like a four twelve is a pretty safe roof in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, I was if you that. feel like you would do it, but yeah, I mean, like eight twelve is kind of pushing it, but I'll mm-hmm. do it when when need be. Um, I was on a, man, it was a couple weeks ago. It was, it was probably a six twelve. I don't remember, 
but the roof was so old and all so much of the granules were like just loose no grip that matters a lot too. I, yeah i mean I, I i think i my belt my tool belt is actually what helped me out the most but one of my foot and one of my feet slipped out and i was like oh that was a close one and then i go to another part of the roof and it happens again i'm like okay this is, i don't <laughs> like this and then both my feet came out off, uh, from under me and i it, i, it, I if I you're hit. wearing shorts followed on shingles it's oh, dude. i was luckily they, it's like they, I was they like, scratch so rash. much yeah, yeah they're like horrible <laughs> But I had to, basically, I, I was sliding down, and I couldn't, like, nothing. Like, I was just, like, literally watching myself slide down. I was like, that's the eve right there. Like, I'm getting there. Like, you know? <laughs> and I ended up having to, uh, like, I just, like, catapulted myself over to a valley and just, like, like tumbled Help into me. it. And I was like, hey, where's my ladder? Like, I need to, Call the fire me? brigade. Call the fire. Uh, yeah, man, it was, it was pretty sketchy. But, yeah. I mean, dude, yeah, older roofs, you got to be mindful of that, too. I mean, they're not gonna, they're not going to support you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, especially too, like uh, moisture is a thing too. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little, algae little is a thing too. If it's on like the north side of a roof, that that can get kind of slick sometimes. And those it'll are those be, like be, black streaks you kind of see. Yeah, that's down. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's um, over time. Yeah. Um, definitely moisture though, especially like the most dangerous combination in my opinion is a cold, old yet. Um, sometimes whenever roofs age, they don't lose their granulars that much because, but they could become like real brittle. Um, and, and, and that makes them like really like hard and more kind of slick. So if you've got like that in combination with the rain and the cold, those things are almost like ice mm. and that's like, yeah, super dangerous. And so, you know, I'm sure you guys, if you own your house, you know, you're not going to you're gonna wait until one day it's not raining. Sometimes we don't have a choice, so we, we'll yeah. we'll go up when it's like missing. But you know, only only if we feel safe. Yeah, uh, we've always got the drone. If it's pouring down rain, we can come we can come back uh, uh, to check out the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we also have uh, binoculars too that we've used in in some scenarios. Um, whether Which if it's are- only that's a really rare too. The, 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 there's usually because of that would be like a tree. It's kind of in the way. I have climbed a tree with binoculars because there's too much tree for the drone, you know, <laughs> and it was too steep. So, That's a problem. Yeah. That was, yeah, now, wait, I just thought about how like bad that looked. Yeah. Like, that was like, that's like yeah, uh, I mean, Back to the Future. Tom you know? style. Yeah, Peeping mm-hmm. Tom, whenever he's hitting that guy's, uh, when uh, Jamie Foxx is, not Jamie Foxx, uh, Back my, to the future. Michael J. Yeah, Fox. My, my, Michael J. Fox. Fox his Fox. his his dad back in the time is like climbing up the tree, like spying on his soon to be wife. Falls out of the tree and gets hit, almost hit by the car. Mm-hmm. You, you know the scene, dude. Movies have changed so much over time uh, because yeah, me too. But um, <laughs> tea, tea. Uh, Would you like spots of tea? <laughs> An Earl Grey, poor favor. Yeah. I don't even know what I was gonna say about that. Movies, Movies have, changed. have changed a lot. You, I mean, I was watching. Oh, I can't yeah, remember. they're way better, dude. They're well, one. Yeah, they're way better. <laughs> the things that they used to say and do in movies back in the day, like. Oh yeah, yeah. I was. I, oh was, I was watching uh, just recently. Glenglary Ross. Hmm. You see, that's just hmm. fucking. That's just pretty. I mean, they just say all kinds of shit in that. Mm. Like, like, I mean, stuff coming like, to America two is coming out. So I remember the first one was like oh, all sorts yeah. of wild, yeah. like. I was. I remember the, watching the royal movie penis a year ago, is like, clean, your yeah, they, <laughs> That's like well, the, they, the unedited version. Mm-hmm. The beginning. Yeah, that's a good movie. I'm excited for that. I get that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I do hate the environment, and that's why I used a little water bottle. Yeah. But I care about it enough to let it be involved in the podcast. <laughs> you want to make water our sponsor for this podcast? <laughs> What's the brand? No, we don't even have to do brand. We're just gonna do water in general. <laughs> Mother Nature is gonna Wild. get uh, pay, pay us back. I will say Ozarka awesome. is damaging. premium. Yeah, out of Ozarka is just out good. of the Whenever it comes water. to bottle water, regular yeah. bottle water, Ozarka. Dude, is Dude, I think time. Dasani is. It just tastes like plastic to me. Somebody uh, not to posted trash a, talk brands. People do like Dasani. Some, somebody like. posted earlier that. Uh, Dasani tastes like the water has been sitting in the water gun for a couple of days, <laughs> and I agree completely. Yeah, it really sure. does. That's a, wow, that's a funny way to put it. <laughs> uh, Nestle water is a no. I cannot stand oh, no. Nestle water. Uh-huh. It tastes funny. Mm-hmm. I don't. I try. I stay away from bottles. I, I get in this, this debate with my wife all the time. She's always doing the bottle water. I mean, 
and always making sure the kids have bottled waters. I was drinking out of a hose, you know. Well, I'm no, tired, I mean, I drink, I drink out of my faucet at the house, and but I would rather drink out of my faucet than mm. drink Nestle water. I was yeah. in Houston. I was in Houston this week, and um, yeah, there was a boil warning under all the for all the water in Houston, and yeah. I was like, mm, even better, you know. Like, well, I think there was one here too because I could just uh, drink out of the faucet. Yeah, there was a boil warning here too because I guess the plants that clean the water. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah, I was running my water and. Sometimes when you run hot water, it fogs up anyways, mm. just because the heat. But yeah. everything was fogging up, so we were running cold water, and it was super foggy. Gross. Yeah. Uh, have you guys ever been? Has anyone you've been to like the natural spring water? Have you ever had one of those? They. I, I mean, I know we, like, we, in well, Arkansas. Oh, they, yeah, they've got some over the there. Hot springs uh, over there. Yeah, in Colorado, they've actually got um, a town. I forget what the name of the town was, but we we ended up in Snowmass. I want to say Breckenridge, but that's not right. Uh, anyways, all, all around the town, they just have like these free uh, springs, and they're just like a little hose bib kind of like spigot. And there's like a little like a, a pump, uh, like a, on a website you can look and see like all the different places you go. And people will just go and like fill up their their water bottles there with this like natural spring water, and they like the whole natural taste of it. I think they taste like ass. <laughs> like every one Probably, of them. Yeah. Like I mean, it was. So, I mean it. It tasted like, I guess, like just heavily mineral water. It's probably probably healthy for you in some way or another. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, if you want to try that out <laughs> and you're in Colorado, you can. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> um, I but yeah, I was uh, I forget what the name of the comedy show was, but it was some comedian sitting down, and they went to this restaurant in L.A. and it's like a water restaurant, like a water bar. And like this guy comes up and they're kind of like mocking him, but I don't think he expected that like to happen. He thought this is just like going to be a nice piece on, the, on his little water store or like a water restaurant. It's like a fancy restaurant. You know, the chef comes out and he's like, oh, here's a da, 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 da. or like a, like a wine thing, yeah. like a wine tasting. And you would like taste these different waters and, and things like that. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Rich people are funny. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> have you ever seen uh, most of, what was it? Most expensivest or something with a, it's not two chains. Who is it? It's a it's a Vice TV show. No, it is two chains. But he goes around and there's one episode where it's like it was like a fifty thousand dollar bottle of water. That, oh my god! Yeah, like really it comes out and like the cap is like a crystal or something <laughs> like that, and then, like it gets presented to him and like it's like what man? Like oh, people dear. buy this stuff. That's crazy. But I mean, if you got the, if you got the money like that, and you want to spend it. No. Like that's you yeah. don't spend it. Like I wouldn't do that. If don't you got the money that. like that, don't spend that. Yeah, dude. There are so <laughs> many more things. Go give, send some money to some poor so neighborhoods. Give the money away. Yeah, if you're just, gonna, if you're just go spend it on bottle water. Just give it just, away. Yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah. Just go that. on top of a skyscraper and just make it rain. Make those people yeah. day under. That make as much cool. money as you want. That's I, cool, but I, don't spend it on dumbass stuff like that. That's just like I actually have a. Uh, right now, I have roof access to some uh, buildings that I've continually been inspecting. Some skyscrapers in Dallas, um, and we—I I, I want. And it's kind of the building is right over there. There's like there's like a a bus station over there, so it's a little bit. You know, there's some homeless population and, and things Always like, by like the bus all, all, all around there. Every time you walk around, they're gonna they're gonna want to like they try to get you know hey you got to change and stuff. I think it would be awesome. To just go to the skyscraper and get like three hundred dollars worth of one dollar bills, and literally just make it rain. <laughs> or that would be awesome. Pennies. Yeah, I, well, I, that would I, probably I, kill a lot of people. No, yeah, <laughs> let's not do no. pennies. I will. I, I used to think that because somebody told me, you know how adults either make up stuff and then they forget to tell you that they were just making a joke and you believe it like longer than what you actually mm. should. So at, I remember always going to Six Flags and then the, the big red tower they have. Uh, I remember Superman. you say you throw a penny off and it hits them in the head it would like kill them like go through their skulls. But that's all fake. You know, right? Yeah. It, the, because the, 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 the mass... Exactly, yeah. It doesn't have the mass to... The terminal velocity that it's going to reach at the mass doesn't have the momentum to cause pain. Like that. That's why like You're bullets... So smart. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, to like shoot bullets in the, in the air, air, you know yeah. what I mean? Because when they come back down, they mm -hmm. don't have the mass to be able to hmm. to kill you. Uh, so sure they, bounce off your roof, though. Yeah, yeah. No, um, where where was it? Uh, I've seen bullet holes in roofs. 
like <laughs> uh, where the slug in, ends up laying. There's people be because we do like inspections for hell, and they'll be like point, pointing that out. Uh, I've seen it two times actually, um, and so they'll be like, "Oh, that's hit." I'm like, "No, no that's a twelve gauge. That's, <laughs> there's something in there, like just a little slug. It didn't go that deep. Depends on the kind of roof." Mm. Um, that's funny. But yeah, it's, uh, it happens. I'm sure in Mexico they're like all over the place. <laughs> I'm a 12 gauge slug right there. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, my brother shot a shotgun out when we were staying out in Springtown. And he shot a shotgun and he, he was just was, he was shooting it in the air, but he didn't really pay attention to the way he was aiming it. And it, it was aiming up, but it was like up towards the neighbor's house. And like, oh, do you hear like ding, 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 ding? Yeah, it was in his buck shot, so you heard like, bah, like that, and then you heard, uh, like it peppered the whole roof, you just heard yeah. like, like that, and the neighbor came out, and he's like, <laughs> hey man, no. Well, we knew the neighbor, it, it, yeah, he kind of running, he's like, oh, I'm Dude. sorry, wait, I'm sorry, wait. Yeah, that's funny. Ricochets, like, I grew up, my, my dad got me a BB gun whenever I was five years old. Oh, yeah. And r- ricochets is something you really have to learn. And Especially look out with for BB guns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those Remember those one, little man. things you used to shoot? To like, they'd be like a rooster or something. It'd just be like a little metal stand that fell over real easy. Yeah. yeah. But it was metal. Yeah, we used to shoot those. Yeah. I don't even know how many times we hit ourselves with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got in ricocheted. Uh, uh, oh, I forget where. I've gotten shot lots of times. I was thinking of a different time. My cousin shot me with the BB gun like right here. Mm-hmm. He thought he, he like didn't think it was loaded or something. Or he was pretending. He was just like, he shot me. And uh, I was, they, they, we were out in the country and at his mom's house. And I was just like immediately mad because I had gone over our safety protocols. We're going to pretend to shoot each other. We're not going to actually shoot each other. And I just a little, little older BB than guns him. hurt too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It stings like a, like a, like a, probably like an initial, like a bee sting, yeah, I guess is a good, it but hurt. it doesn't keep hurting after. Anyway, so I turned around and I'm walking back to the house. You know, oh man, he's kind of, I can, I can hear him kind of keeping up with me. He, I can, he's just so scared because I'm about to go tell him I'm right. I just get inside that door and like at the last minute I was like, I, I just, I, I said to the mom, I was like, oh, I got stung. I got stung by something. Yeah. I didn't write him out, you know? Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know. We just got, we keep getting She probably put it all together. She was like, you got a BB gun. This <laughs> is not a sting. Yeah. I you can a, see it. It's like a red circle. It's so, it's so much bigger than the BB mm-hmm. whenever you get hit by it. Yeah. Yeah, we shoot each other one long. Mine got me like right on the collarbone, so it like broke the skin, but it didn't. Mm. It didn't look the same as it w- w- does when it hits you down, like uh, more of a mini part. Mm. I shot a propane tank with a shotgun before, and that's not a good idea either. <laughs> and there was a, some one of my buddy's cars was like s- kind of semi close to us. Um, surprisingly, only one of us got like hit. But his car was kind of at an angle, so I think more of them went that way. But we heard like at least like three or four ping. It was like boom, and it was like ding ding, ding on, on his car. Yeah, because they're rounded too, so it's got more. <laughs> yeah, that's to what I'm saying. It's, it probably like the one, well, only one of my guys, but he's got hit. But um, yeah, just don't go, don't <laughs> shoot propane tanks. Watch what you're shooting, people. Watch what you're shooting. Yeah, yeah. there was no propane in it. We were gonna think about that it crazy. before you do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. We could uh, have a whole podcast on you. Actually, I'll, I'll save some gun stories for uh, shooting in, inside houses. We'll leave it that. Okay. Teaser alert. <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. Stay tuned. Come back next week. <laughs> All right. We're, we're probably way past time. What are we yeah. doing? Yeah, we are? Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Uh, appreciate it, guys. If you listen to our nonsense again, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right. Jerry, thank you again, man. Yeah, um, uh, thank you. Yeah, Enjoy. again, Good I'm times. Kevin. This is Chris. We're with Every Angle Inspectors. If you're uh, stuck on a ladder, like, call yeah. us. <laughs> we'll just talk <laughs> you down. We'll yeah. give you the number for now. One more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just coach you down. All right, guys. Um, yeah. Have a good night, day, summer, winter, wherever you are, what time it is. Have a good one. Thanks Be safe listening. on your roofs. Bye. <laughs>